war. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh. Oh, James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? You're James? just a... Catherine, 
Catherine! She's in cardiac are... arrest. Start compression. Things... Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? You... One we need a doctor, not a dead man. This one's on the house. Fail to meet my expectations no, and there will be... Look no. straight into the light. James and his cheerly charity. May your future is right. The boys in this place will feel just like her. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. There you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when daddy leaves you alone. But I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments Don't be a damn fool. We experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. Stay more than you blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you. Congratulations, mother... young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Oh man, you got a Pip-Boy. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so... You're welcome. But really, you're... Hey. Ha! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 4... I found this in a box of my father's old thing. Well? I wish I was 10. Enjoying yourself? 
Enjoying Attention, yourself? everyone. It's time to cut the cake. Andy, wait. How's it going, Pat? How do you like that Pip-Boy, son? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Sir... Don't mention it. Oh. Yes, I know you were joking, too, but I'm not sure anyone else Hey, how about the vault dwellers? Nonsense. Get it? People always Who wants enjoy to go around all day? Are you having a nice party? Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting... Such a nice fellow. Here you go. I'm being called a vocal. Besides, that friend of yours could you use really a are as dumb that as you look. Not all. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Mrs. Palmer said I didn't have to share. Who's talking about sharing, moron? I want the whole thing. Now are you gonna give me that sweet roll, or am I gonna have to give you a knuckle sandwich? Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Pot and game. You're gonna be sorry you look Ugh, this is supposed to be a party, you know? Butch, what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. Are you having you a right, nice son? time? He didn't hurt you, did he? Come on. Yeah, you're coming, I got one. I know the you're busy with the water. Super you're gonna cool, be really right? sorry. You everything's fine. Jeez, I hope. Out of the game. Old you hey, Doc. No way. We're all, all set down here. Stuff again last night. Good as new. Thanks. I'll send him right down. Shows how smart you, you are, Wally. Anything, right? What should we call? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think any. Anyway, I'm glad you could help us overseers. Yeah, I like that. How are you? Happy birthday. They sh and s Of course. Well, at least it doesn't have more name in it. I help with the decorations. It makes it what are you doing down here, young man? Oh, I see. Now that you're ten, you're all business. Happy birthday, by the way. Hang on one more minute. I think I hear someone coming. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It Jonas found it. You know how tough it is to find a spring? So, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less rad roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Over here, son. Smile. And girls have different parts. What is your problem right? anyway? So, I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like, I get any right. kind of special Tell treatment. Me. Revelation 21 6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16 year old boy. So, yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now.
You've got a goat to take. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Take care, son. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! I can show you a real... Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature ass... Why won't... Can you talk to them? A bunch of idiots... Thanks. She's nothing... Yeah? What do you want? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. Butch, come on, tunnel snakes. This little bitch isn't worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine. Let's go. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots! I just want to keep them Sounds good. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice. We'll start as soon as everyone's found. Let me know if there are any changes. I've got other things to do. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. 
What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number 1. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question 9. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off. They say the goat never lies. According to this, you're slated... Yes, um, it's good to know that... Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results.
I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Anything is possible, even an A. That is the problem. He's safe now. He's playing Selfish and insubordinate. Wake up! Come you on, need to wake know up! These things. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you. He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. It's Jonas! They killed him! My father's men. They took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now! Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. Not anymore, apparently. Oh, I'm s But it doesn't matter. Listen. Use the- Oh, what- Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. What I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There he is. Hold it right there! Crime any more roaches! What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the sight of your own blood? Get off me. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! No, I can't go back in there. It's... it's dark. No! Shut up! I'm not listening to you! No! You're- What's here. happening? Ah. Son. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll... That's a real sh... That's your... It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us.
this. Oh. Oh. Shouldn't have tried to run. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just tell us where to find it.
I didn't think I would make it. My, my, my father, he, I, my officer, when the warning siren... You're right, I am. What's important... Goodbye. Find your dad. I'll... I knew you'd turn up so <laughs> oh. Had enough? Ah, welcome, weary traveler. Well, wander no more, my good friend. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall we?
Pleasure doing business with you. Cheers. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we
those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. No, those things will get me. I can't. I gotta keep going. No. No. See? I knew it. Well, fine.
because one dog ain't enough and two is too low. It's me, three dog. How you kids handling post-apocalyptia today?